Now, could this be the answer to drug-resistant superbugs? Scientists have discovered that adding silver to antibiotics makes them 10 to 1,000 times more effective at fighting infections. Silver's been used as an antimicrobial for centuries, but little has been known about how it works. Well, let's speak to somebody who should be able to explain to us, Professor José Rubén Morones Ramírez, who conducted the research and joins me now from Monterrey in Mexico. I mean, it, it sounds almost medieval, uh, is it not toxic? Uh, well, at the concentrations that we use uh, to add to antibiotics, we found no toxicity in mice. We did a thorough uh, toxicity study and blood work where we find that all um, levels in the blood are okay and the mice are doing fine. So how does it work? Well, um, uh, silver has many ways to um, to interact with the cell and cause its death, but one of the main phenotypes is that it, it permeates the membrane of the of bacteria, and so it allows a lot more antibiotics to go in. And the other is that it causes this um, chemicals called reactive oxygen species that um, promote uh, cell death in conjunction with the antibiotics. So how are you going to I mean, if, if it works for humans, I think you've only tested it on mice so far, but if it were to work for humans, how would it be administered? Would it, would it be like a silver-coated pill or, or an injection or what? Well, there are many ways that we can administer. For example, we can take our antibiotic and then take a, a glass of water that contains silver. You only need 250 milligrams, so it's about half a, half a Tylenol pill. Or you can have it uh, in the solution of an injection. Or you can also have it in a, inside the pill, right? You can have a pill with silver inside in, 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 in solid solution and in, in, in a solid and then the antibiotic. And potentially, how significant could this be? I mean, you, you've only trialed it so far, but everyone's talking about the, at the moment about these, uh, th these drug-resistant uh, diseases. Is this potentially the answer? Because I don't think antibiotics have really changed that much in the last, what, 20, 30 years, have they? Exactly. It is, it's a pretty cool result, especially because um, we have an exper we, we did an experiment, we showed a result where uh, a, a strain of ba a bacterial strain that is resistant to an antibiotic, when you treat it with uh, the concentration of silver that we tested, you go back to, uh, to, to, for, it, for the strain to be sensitive for, with antibiotics at the, at the time before being resistant. So it's a pretty cool result. Okay, just very, very briefly, uh, you know, how long before this could be used in humans, do you think? I think about if, if, if we do a lot of research toward this, toward this end and finding new adjuvants such as silver or other metals, maybe in five years, I guess. Okay, all right. Well, we'll watch you closely. Professor Morones Ramirez, thank you very much indeed uh, for speaking to us on the program. Thank you very much for the interview.